And now we're back, yet again, with episode four of Metro Last Light Redux. I've been recording these all, like, in the same sitting, so... Might stop after this, might not. We'll see. We'll do this for, like, uh, 30 minutes. Sorry about that. Right Dangerous times, right? We're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? Ah. We were lucky to what? get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by the wrecked plate. Yeah, no wonder I such a bad dream today. Huh. Oh, you want a nightmare? That oh, it's waiting through. for you up there. No sense going with just three men. To clear a nest, we need a couple squads at least. So what now? You're not going? We gather the mint first. We're waiting for the guys. On their way. Artyomich, so, if it's culture you want, the Bolshoi is up there above us. All the actors who survived are here. Uh, people come from all over the metro to see the shows they put on. Uh, this happens all the time. Ooh, guitar. But why? Why to us? They keep raising the standards. Last time it was our neighbors. This time, it's us. So, that's our plan. The station next to this one is Revolution Square. One of ours. Red. And Revolution is fitting distance to Polis. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through. And you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? Yes, we are. Great. Come in, then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here. Huh? I'll talk to my people and find you. Welcome. Right. Have a good rest. But you do understand that we can't wait here for I don't trust that nose. Look, I don't make it's too big of a okay? nose. Who does that? Is it so hard to either accept us to send us on our way? So where's that uh, safe I found? Uh, a safe account. Bullets to the last surviving theatrical critic. Bullets for mercy on your souls. So, young men, I see you like my witty sign. There is a place for everyone in this underground. Murderers, whores, tyrants, money changers, even peasants for Christ's sake. All are welcome here. Even lousy actors. I live in a theater where we breathe the miasma of the decaying Bolshoi. This station is overpopulated with the ghosts of the opera. But is there a place here for the best critic of our once great country? Hell no. I tell the truth. And I am repaid with insults and poverty? I say you are a disgrace to the name of Bolshoi. And they reply, now Bolshoi is us and us alone. They are immune to criticism. They just money over art. And these poop souls traveling from all over Metro to see the glorious Bolshoi? They are plain fools. They say that art only interests the well fed. But, my young friend, I will argue that even the hungry need art. For thinking on exalted matters dulls the pain of an empty stomach. But, sadly, true art is 20 years gone. What remains is a And so my own hunger persists. Will you honor what we've lost by perhaps donating a bullet? Oh, yeah, that's an interesting guy. That guy couldn't hold his drink. He's struggling. Alright, that's fun. Ooh, guitar. God, that plane is like classic. Stop walking around all the man with the wow. That's a demon. So scary, just like your real thing. A demon. Ah, the market. When do we this is a good spot for me to be. You got enough money to last a week? A week? Two days, maybe. Yes. Then my life is over. I would like to customize my revolver. I'll keep the fire. So. Pop a silencer on there. Alright. Maybe I can trade it in. 
No. If I trade it in, I want it to be for like shit. Which this guy doesn't have. Okay. What I like about a shot is that you can basically convert it into a long shotgun with Adam stock and other stuff. Good luck, man. All right, that's all. Fish, fresh fish from Venice. And here's the theater. Where's my friend? Okay, well, I've reached the end. Oh, there he is. Oh, bashing through people. Alright. Well, Artyom, I made all the arrangements. We can go to the revolution now. They will let us in through the field. Okay, let's go. Hey, you. Stop. Show me your tickets. Did you hear Oh, sure. Come in. Well, Stanislavski, you can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing rooms. Okay, because I don't want this video to be so hot. Uh, I push down. Eyes down. So I'm pretty sure the women in here aren't uh, wearing tops. on a scroll. Artyom! No? Enjoy the show? Sorry, man. Time to move on. You hate to turn up the art. Has never witnessed anything like this before. I feel sorry oh, for the other performance now. Oh, Pavel Ivanovich. So glad to such see you. Spectacle. Where have you been? You don't like, like us, us anymore? Helen, no, Sto, I'm, I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Yeah, please, see you, Kubo. Jana, let me use your powder. In your dreams, you have your own. Use that. Okay, let's go. It's no good. It wasn't as bad as I remember. Then again, my memory is... Uh, Artyom? No. Artyom? Looks like you're a bit woman hungry, huh? Well, yes, yes. It's a hard life without a soft woman. That guy's Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but... Uh, let's drink to the fact we're still alive, huh? Tell me, okay? Opa, that's great. So, let's drink it to him. Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but uh, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro and people talk all kinds of shit about the red line. That it's awful there, there's no food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Wow. So, <clears throat> yes, our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but... We have order, and everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter, no rich men, true. But no beggars either. Another drink. I just saw and one. What are you talking about? Come on, Artyom. No, 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 no. Pay that now. Ooh, good. Good. Ah, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Look, look at the far stations. They're freaking eat each other. Sell their kids as slaves. It's like the Stone Age. After his own devices, a man becomes a beast. You know, order, order. Is all that matters. That's that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. Blin. 
So, my friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, so he's a wee bit higher ranked than we suspected, huh? That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, Just you wait. And we'll get even. I wonder though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? Yeah. Takes takes some effort there. Move it! Probably wants him. Hey, stop that, Blet! It's just being over enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now, you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. At ease, Tavarish. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General here? What about Comrade Korn? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Oppa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Look, let's go. You're a smart guy, so we understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need you. Information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Cooperate. Okay? But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one, and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us. Too. No, I'm not a communist, sir. I ain't joining the Reds. Y'all remember what I did in the last game? I killed a lot of you guys. Pretty sure one of them looked like you. Pronto? Good day, Comrade General. Probably Comrade not. Morozov, Possibly. I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. At least one. Right? I was they captured, Comrade Corbett. This stranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence. He's Nitsky. We're one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found D6 together. He's also earned several commendations since officially enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the Comrade to the negotiation room. That wasn't very friendly. But alright. Okay, Let's dispense with the evil doctor. Telepathic mutant, the so called Dark One, is of extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. But, as my spy, an operative, just like those uh, musketeers, one for all and all for. Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Corbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lonya must start learning how to improve his uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, Beaver. Yeah, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster and more effective. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six. Uh, Hitler stash. There. Oh. Fuck. Still nothing, huh? <laughs> hey, bitch. You talk. 
or I'll fry your balls in pig fat. Passwords, code names, operation protocols. What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonya. Interrogation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No! You little shit! There's no power without blood! There is! Your brother ruled peacefully, and they still love him! Get back here! You're a thug! God damn it! Butcher. All right. Use your drugs. Use hot pokers. Just get everything out of him, and shoot the bastard! And then come to my office. We must talk. Come back here! Oh, I must agree with you. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything. No. No, I won't. Oh, it's making me remember being one of these little rug rats. You know, maybe being up here is a good idea. Y'all should run. and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the dark one? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Fuck Corbett, fuck my father, and Morozov, and the revolution, and my own future! I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother! Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live! Here, get in there! This is the way to freedom, believe me, I know. <laughs> I spent all my childhood hiding from my father, and no, well, good luck to you! Thanks, pal. His daddy issues just saved our lives. Well, my life. Y'all just watching. Hopefully, anyway. Let's see what we can find out up here. Fight them. Sit down, Corbin. Let's talk. About the negotiations in Polis? Ah, uh, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence, after all. And why did you let the information leak? Damned refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans. The rats will be exterminated. And war is inevitable anyway. Inevitable? I have my doubts. So does the Politburo. A doubtful man is a fearful man. How dare you? You're the head of state security and you report to me! Yes, but now, when we are one step away from a unified Red Metro, you have no right to disrupt the plan. I have no right? I'm... Moscovin, when you asked me how to deal with your elder brother when he was still the Secretary General, I helped you. And after his tragic death, I bucked your takeover. So I suggest you take my advice again. This is unacceptable. It's very simple, Comrade Moskvin. We all stand together, arms linked against the wind. For it's every man for himself. But, Gorbut, 
Is this whole fucking metal truly worth the blood we're going God to spill? Damn it, the more I have a way planes. of doing it without Good spilling Lord. any blood. No blood, you say? All right. Go do your trick. I'll handle the police bureau. Cuts. One of these days. Okay, we can move on now. I mean, I could have moved on the whole time. The frontal assault to. is hopeless. But if we go underground at the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. Attention, Comrade General! Soldiers, you are trusted with an important mission. Each group has its task, and you have been told only what you need to know to succeed. But remember that this operation is top secret, and you must not be taken alive by the enemy. I hope that I am understood. Questions? Can we use radios after we capture the assigned targets? Only in case of emergency, and on a scrambled frequency. If we're faced with strong enemy counterattacks, do we hold the positions or fall back? Hold them. Anyway, the enemy is unlikely to mount an effective counteroffensive. Comrade General, we have been issued a banner along with the other gear, but we were also made to remove all our markings. We will leave no trace of our operation. Only upon victory and receipt of the following signal will you raise your banner over the captured targets. Further questions? No, Comrade General. Good luck then. Serve the red line! Long line! Long line. Long line. Okay, now we move on again. Man, this entire episode basically it's just been cutscenes. Now I am in a real spider-infested catacombs, where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbett. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesnitsky bring him from D6? What's going to destroy the enemies of the revolution? Only questions and no answers. The only thing that is clear, Pavel has information on the Dark One, which makes him my current target. Not a great helmet, but all right. It works. Let's get geared up. I guess we finally saw what helmet I'm wearing, huh? Hmm. I should think about popping a silencer on this thing. It limits my its uh, effectiveness against the mutants, but it makes it more effective against humans. Well, I feel like this is my good weapon against humans. It kind of dropped to it. You've got it yourself. I'll go stand there around the corner. Is your pants already? <laughs> then what's your real man? Well, if you're a real man, why are your hands shaking? Hands don't mean shit. The important thing is nothing else shakes. Okay. Composed. Composed. Huh? Wire. The red wire. already. First you order a patrol, then you expect me to sit here. I think it's good to wait for him to answer that. What the hell? What am I supposed to do? Split in two? Second post here. Second post. Report your situation. 
Reporting. Group 8 left the facility using Tunnel 2. Roger that, second floor. Carry on. That should buy me some time. The fact that they actually answered means that the alarm hasn't been raised. Because I feel like if I had killed him before he answered the call, I would have been caught. Because they would have been like, oh, no, they didn't answer the call. Better send more troops down there. What the hell are you doing here? Who's going to patrol the premises? Me alone? Come on, get to work, all of you. Yes, sir. Ivan, stay. Did you take care of the rats? I want them all burnt. Commander, we're not not. Shooting is one thing, but we can't burn people alive. What do you mean? People? Shooting? Are you out of it? Aren't you talking about the refugees? What refugees? Let the special department handle them. I'm talking real rats. Stay as an Multiply by three. Yes, sir. Damn it. Hey. Just. Just. Hey, what the hell is this? Uh, there's like a dirty spot on my screen. I assumed it was the middle. But I think it's slightly off center. And there's more. Points. God damn it. I assumed it was in the center of my monitor. I was wrong, apparently. It's, it's not. about safety precautions as if we didn't sign in the book we did so what good is that one asshole got run over by a crane last week no he lost a knife when a cable broke that was last month I'm talking last week. Yeah. oh now i understand why they're going on about safety like that that's my line who's gonna work if everyone is out of commission well yes uh, i wish they'd fix that dumb radio or something it makes me uneasy you know Okay, with them splitting up, this becomes exponentially easier. Where they're at, I can do. Hey, what the? What? There we go. Nice and clean. I didn't even have to do any of that. I'm actually pretty sure it's possible to get through this level without a single casualty. There's even an achievement for it. Mind what the hell happened? Why? You don't know about the bridge? Sure, I know the place. I served there for a short time. Well, last year there was right. one hell of an incident. The guy said that when they came to relieve the watch, all of the sentries on our side of the bridge were dead. So the lieutenant sent some scouts to the Nazi post on the other end. They returned and said it was the same ship there. Yep. Their boots were stained red. Like that was me. River <laughs> <of blood. Hey, what the hell is that? Shit. Oh. 
shit. I thought I thought I had got them all. I guess I didn't. Okay, okay. Screwing this up. I keep screwing this up. Why? You don't know about the bridge? No. Okay, I have to kill those two without them firing a bullet. It's so easy. Why do I keep screwing it up? You don't know about the bridge. I'll end after. There we go. Good oh. <sighs> Just give me all your stuff here. Now that this room is safe, I will end it here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles.